Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch WAN28281GB washing machine. Now this particular machine has an 8kg load with a 1400 spin speed. There are other models in the range, so there's a 7kg version and also a 9kg version as well. But for the purpose of this video I'll show you the 8kg because that's by far the most popular one that we do. So what I want to do today is to show you around the washing machine some of the features and benefits that it offers. So I've got it plugged in, let's have a look. So the first thing I always say before buying any washing machine is just to make sure that it fits in. So the dimensions on this one, uh, things like the width are pretty standard, so 59 and a half centimetres, so just under 60 centimetres, and the heights are all standard, they're around 85 centimetres. You do have adjustable feet at the front, uh, so if you need to adjust it by a little bit, then you, at least you've got the flexibility. Uh, the main thing to consider is the depth. Um, because what people are doing now is they are going for slightly bigger machines, so going for bigger load sizes. Uh, whereas people were going for say five, six kilogram, say nine, ten years ago, now people are going for eight, nine, even ten kilogram washing machines. And what that's doing, things like the width are fairly standard and the heights are standard, uh, but the the drum has to go somewhere, so it's going into the depth of the machine. So I'd always say check the depth. And on this particular machine, uh, it's actually pretty slim considering the load size. So to the very front, so to the very front lip here, you're looking at 53 and a half centimeters. Uh, if you are including the door as well, then you would really need to allow 60 centimeters. So from the front of the door to the back of the machine. Uh, I will show you around the back of the machine later. So I'll take you through some of the different programs that it offers. Uh, first of all, as you can see, you've got the uh, main control dial in the middle here. Um, this is something that Bosch have done for several years and I do like the way they do this. Uh, it's nice and easy to, to use, you can turn it either way. Um, so you just select the program that you want. So that is the on and off switch as well, so you don't have a, a separate button, which is always useful. Uh, as you can see, you've got a, um, a nice display on the right hand side here. It's a red LED display uh, that does tell, you know, it is easy to read. And what you'll find is it will actually display the time remaining for the program and also the load size that you can put in for each of the programs. So for things like the cotton program, so these will be for the, the these are basically longer programs. As you can see here, that one as standard will take uh, just over three hours. Uh, what you will find is that some of these times can look quite long. So this is a, another program, this is a, quite a new one to the range. This is called Eco 40 to 60. Uh, and with that one that's around three and a half hours. Uh, what you'll find is that with some of these programs, well with all of them, don't take, so that, that that one at three hours 26, don't take that, that it will definitely be that time because what what these machines tend to do is they will actually adjust the time of the wash depending on things like the load size, also how dirty the clothes are. So how it does it, it sends a certain amount of water through towards the beginning of the program it will detect how dirty the water is and it will also detect the load size and what it will do, normally after about 10-15 minutes it will start to adjust the wash time. Uh, so as I say, don't assume it's always going to be that time because for some people, if you're looking at three, three and a half hours for a wash then that might put them off the machine. But there are lots of quick programs on here which I will show you in a bit. So with this program, the Eco 40 to 60, as I say, it's quite a new program um, it's been introduced on all washing machines this well from 2021 um, and what it does is with all other programs you can actually adjust the temperature of the washes uh, but with this one it is fixed so this is designed to wash clothes between 40 well it's designed to wash clothes that have the ability to be washed between 40 and 60 degrees which to be fair is the majority of clothes and what it will do is it will actually select the temperature for you, which means that you you can't select it. So it is it, it's a really good program, and what you will find is that it's very energy efficient. Uh, so on this one, it only uses around 46 litres of water. And if you're comparing that to, say, the cotton program, uh, on that one you're looking around 85 litres of water. So it's a, you know, a very energy efficient program. So if you, if you are concerned about the amount of water and especially electricity that you're using, then that's certainly one to look at. So while I'm talking about the wash times, then I will show you this feature. Uh, this is called Speed Perfect. And what it will do 
is it will give it enables you to put a smaller load in but it really really speeds the wash up so just show that again so on this cotton program so it will still wash at the 40 degree and want this one so that program you can wash eight kilograms but if you press the speed perfect option then it really really cuts it down so it's around an hour and a half let's say it just goes down to five kilograms uh, but for some people if you are in a hurry then that could be a savior as you come around to some of these things like the eco 40 to 60 you can't use it on so you can't speed that up so some of the other programs you've got things like the easy care uh, woolen program tends to go down well now uh, with this one that's a maximum load of up to two kilograms so it is a fairly small load uh, what you will find is that on this it doesn't enable you to go any higher temperature than 40 degrees so clearly you wouldn't want to wash your woolens any higher than 40 degrees uh, as we go around to the next program uh, this is a very very popular program on Bosch machines uh, it's called super quick 15 and 30 and as it says it's a 30 minute program and with that you can wash up to four kilograms load so this is ideal if you just want to wash something very quickly uh, that isn't soiled so you couldn't wash things like your football kit in it uh, because it's not really designed for that it's really designed as a, a as I say a very very quick wash or a freshen up program so you've got the 30 in a minute which is a four kilograms or what you can do is you've got two kilogram and that's at 15 minutes so if you just got a really small load that you want to wash really quickly then you can do that in 15 minutes and then you've got the next option which is the rinse so you've got rinse and spin or the very bottom you've got the spin and drain so if you've hand washed something and if you just want to spin it and then drain the water out then Bosch have given us a, a dedicated program for that and what you can do is you can actually alter the spin speed so it starts off at the full 1400 and then you can go down to so 1200, 800 600, 400, so it's a, it's a good range of, of spin speeds. Um, then the next one, you've got things like the mix load. So that's just a, a fairly quick program, that's just a, an hour program. And um, with that one, you can go up to 60 degrees. So just to give you an idea, on the four kilogram load, if you're washing it at 40 degrees, then the water consumption on that is around 44 liters. So it's not too bad, um, it's not the most energy efficient program uh, but again if you want to wash clothes pretty quickly then that's a good option to have so the next program to show you is this one the night wash and what this does is this is a smaller load so again it's only a three and a half kilogram load uh, but this is really designed if you use the machine overnight so if you've got things like economy seven and if you use the time delay on the machine so i'll just show you this first so with this machine it's got the time delay built in and what you can do is you can actually delay it for up to 24 hours so I'll just show you that so it goes up to 24 hours and then after that it would just go back to the normal time uh, so if you do use that if you've got uh, say cheap electricity overnight then this one the night wash could be a very good option to use and what it does is it um, I mean the, the machine's very quiet anyway but at the end of the wash the machine will normally have a, an audible signal so it normally tells you when it's finished so what it does is it stops that uh, and also it does reduce the final spin speed so a standard so I'll just show you this so you can change it to a 1400 but what it normally does is it reduces it to around 800 or 600 and the main advantage is by spinning at a lower spin speed it reduces the noise level if you do find that when you get up if you do need to spin it again then at least you just got the spin option at the bottom uh, but i'm really glad that they've done this because the this kind of specialized program is something that people are looking at now uh, the next one so you've got things like the delicates and silk uh, this one is again a small load uh, it's only two kilograms and it only takes around 38 minutes so it's a pretty quick program uh, and what you'll find is if, you, if you're washing at 30 degrees then it's only using 35 litres of water so it's uh, a pretty energy efficient program uh, so as we carry on round I, I won't cover all of these but you've got things like sportswear, dark wash, uh, dedicated shirts program and like some of the other programs this is a fairly small load it's only a two kilogram load 
Uh, but really with the shirts program, this is designed, as it says, for shirts or blouses. And the main advantage is it, it tries to reduce the creasing at the end of the wash. So the washing performance is still very good. Uh, I mean, the wash itself is pretty quick at uh, around an hour. Uh, but what you'll find is hopefully towards the end of the wash, the, the actual spinning it does and the agitation of the machine is a lot less than normal. And what that's trying to do is to reduce the creasing, which in the end it can save on the amount of ironing that you need to do. And then the next program is this one, it's called the Allergy Plus. And with that, this is really designed, so if, if you've got something in the household that, that uh, say, suffers with things like eczema, um, or they are very strict on things like hygiene requirements from a washing machine, uh, then this can be a great program. Uh, what this does is it actually gets up to temperature very quickly and it maintains a high temperature. Another option on the right hand side here is the extra rinse and this can be enabled with this program, the Allergy Plus and also quite a few other programs and what this will do is it will, uh, as it says, it enables an extra rinse so if you've got somebody in the household that suffered with things like skin allergies uh, then that can be a great option and something that a lot of people look out for uh, what you will find is it does add an extra time onto the program so with it it's at 3 hours 14 and without it it goes down to 2 hours 54 so just giving you a rundown of some of the programs um, I have covered quite a few of these options on the right hand side here uh, but I'll just show you this so we've got the the temperature so depending on the program that you've selected uh, it will determine the temperature for you as standard but it normally gives you the flexibility so on the cotton program uh, it does give the full option, so you can go from 90, 60, 40, 30, 20, and then down to a cold wash. Uh, I've covered the spin speed, uh, that's the time delay option. Speed perfect is always a great option, that always goes down very well with the customers and the extra rents. The main other one to uh, mention is the pre-wash. So this is something that, I'll be honest, not a lot of people mention now. Uh, the, the concept of doing a pre-wash on clothes now because what people are doing is they're wearing clothes for a fairly short time and then washing them fairly quickly uh, so the uh, again the, the idea of having to pre-wash them isn't so important uh, but if you if you're the manager of a football team and if you're responsible for washing your the uh, the football kits then this could be a great option for you uh, pre-wash just it does make the program longer so it's 3 hours 17 with it, or 2 hours 47. And then finally on the right hand side, you've got the start and reload. So once you've selected the program and the different options, then just press the start button. You have got the reload. Uh, this is something that Bosch have used for several years and it normally works quite well. Um, what this does is that if you've started the program and then before the water starts to come in, if you realize you've forgotten to put that last sock in, then just press the reload or press the start button again it will just pause the program and then it enables you to put the sock in clearly if you've got water in the machine then I'll just leave it till the next wash if you've got little children that enjoy coming and playing with all the dials and buttons on your washing machine then this option could be a lifesaver uh, this is the child lock and um, what you do is you press and hold those two buttons so you press and hold the spin and the finish in option and what that would do is that's locked the display now and it's got a little key symbol so if you and, and then to disable that you just press and hold that and then it counts down and then you can start again so sometimes you might find that you might get your coins come out your trousers and hopefully they will end up down here uh, if you just undo this so just turn it anti-clockwise and then this gives you access to the pump behind here um, you can find that, uh, I won't do it at the moment because there could be water in here from where the machines are tested in the factory. Um, this is really useful though because uh, you've actually got a pipe here as well. So if you, if you have a power cut and if you've got water in the machine and if you needed to empty the machine uh, for whatever reason then Bosch have given us this which is a, it's just a little pipe and what you need to do is you need to put a, a bowl or tray underneath here and then open the end there and then the water will come out clearly if you've got a machine full then it could take a while to do it but at least you've got the option to to drain the water out and I know you won't be able to see it but just 
up here on the top right hand corner uh, you have got the option to open the door as well so you just pop something like a screwdriver in here and pull it down um, and what that will do is it, it just basically enables the lock to be opened and then you can open the door um, clearly if you have got a machine full of water then you want to drain the water first before you open the door because if not you're going to get very soggy feet so on the left hand side here we've got the soap drawer and it's nice and easy to open and as the you know these are pretty standard as far as the layout so you've got the pre-wash main wash and conditioner uh, if you do want to take it out to clean it then all you do is press the middle button and that removes it uh, what you will find is that you've got the option to separate the back part from the front part uh, the main reason the Bosch do that is that this back part can be put in say a dishwasher so if you want to give it a really good wash at a high temperature then just unclip this from the front you just unclip it there um, I'd recommend don't put this part in as well so don't put that part in in the dishwasher because it's quite a it's a nice gloss finish on the front uh, with the logo on there you, what you can find is if you wash it a couple of times then it could start to dull it down which might look silly compared to the rest of the fascia on the machine uh, what you've also got is you have got this cheeky little device here and uh, this is really designed so if you do use liquids in here then rather than putting the liquid in and it running away straight away into the machine then this device is used to stop it so when you first put the machine on then just pop that in and you can pop the liquid in here it does also give you the amount that you're putting in so I'll just take that out and show you uh, hopefully you can see that so you've got 50, 100 or 150 mil depending on the, the dosing that you want to put in so again that's quite useful uh, but if you don't, if you use things like powder then I'd always recommend to take that out because you will find that it, it won't take it away through the program as efficiently now some eagle eyed viewers may have noticed this called the Eco Silence Drive uh, now the Eco Silence Drive is what Bosch use uh, on some of their mid and high end models so they don't tend to put it on their basic range of washing machines and what that is is a more energy efficient motor and the main advantage is that it's a lot quieter so on the full spin speed it's only 74 decibels which it, I know it doesn't mean a lot but just compare it to other washing machines around similar price and you should find that this should be quite a little bit quieter than some of the competition so I did mention earlier that I'll show you around the back of the machine and as you can see you've got the waste hose on the left hand side here uh, the mains comes out from the bottom left and as far as the water uh, you do get a new hose with it so that just connects at the top right here um, I would always recommend trying to use a new hose uh, if not if you have used say a very long hose then uh, from your old machine then I'd recommend at least just changing the washer um, before you connect it up to the to the new machine uh, what you'll also find is that you have got these these are called transit bolts so if you're installing the machine yourself then make sure you take these four bolts out uh, that's imperative because if you don't then it will damage the machine and it won't be covered under the warranty if you are thinking of buying one of these machines I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch WAN28281 GB washing machine please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video click subscribe and leave any comments below I'd always ask for comments whether it's good or bad about the video itself also on the washing machine if you've got any questions about the washer leave it in the comments and I will get back to you also if you've got a washing machine like this uh, either this model or a similar one then let me know what you think about it because I always appreciate the feedback thanks for watching